thunder there. Brendan Benedict, SNAP Ed Nutrition Program Educator at Cornell Crop Extension joins us now live in studio to talk about eating healthy. And Brandon, you know what? The harvest of the month, in case you couldn't tell, ta-da, cauliflower. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, so many great benefits, um, but why don't you throw out some of the first ones that come to mind? Uh, cauliflower is a good source of vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, and potassium. Mm -hmm. But I think the big one really is it has lots of fiber. Yeah. Fiber is things found in plants, so fruits, veggies, whole grains. Cauliflower is a lot of it. It's good for your heart, good for your stomach, good for our weight. Can't beat cauliflower for that. And it's a cool weather crop too, right? Yep. I mean, so it's planted uh, late summer, usually harvested fall and winter. So that's when you should look for it in your local farmer's market mm -hmm. or fresh from the grocery store. Um, I want to put up a full screen because this has got some great nutritional value as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you can see back here it's low in sodium and calories, which are, you know, fantastic. Like I said, source of vitamins and minerals, fiber. Uh, look to try to make half your plate whenever you eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Try to make half your plate fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower can definitely uh, work towards that. And you know what? You and I were talking before the, the um, segment and that it, it's a great snack too. And a lot mm -hmm. of people don't maybe think of cauliflower as a snack, but you can make all sorts of dips. And I mean, we as a family will use cocktail sauce and, and dip it. And, and it's a good snack for the kids. Yeah, it's definitely very filling, very healthy uh, snack. Uh, any kind, you know, dipping it, dipping in something, eating it plain, making it part of your dinner, however you want to do it. Also, uh, some shopping tips. What do you look for when you go and buy? Well, you want to see something solid. Uh, you don't want to like you don't want mushy cauliflower. Mm. You also don't want uh, any spots. Like I have some spots on this one. This is not something you'd really want to see uh, at the grocery store when you're getting your cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And you also want it to feel heavy for the size. Like you want to pick it up and say, "Wow, that's a heavy piece of cauliflower." Um, there's so many different things you can add it to as well, right, when you're cooking? Oh, definitely. You could throw it into a stir fry, you know, with the, some other, your favorite vegetables, put it in like your sauce. Uh, you could roast it by itself. You could steam it, mash it like you would uh, mashed potatoes. Use that as a substitute for mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Lots of different ways. Um, with a veggie dip, how much do you need? For cauliflower? Meat? Yes. Whatever. Let's talk How? about the veggie dip, because <laughs> it smells really good over here. Yeah, so you would need uh, as much cauliflower as you could eat with it, I guess. <laughs> For the veggie dip, uh, it's a really simple recipe. I have two cups of Greek yogurt, because I think the texture is right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw just two tablespoons of minced onion in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of guesstimating, because I don't really like following an actual recipe. Going to put... Yeah, it looks better sometimes. Just go... Yeah, good. just throw it in. <laughs> going to do a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's see, this is dill weed. We're going to do half a teaspoon of that. I'm going to do two pinches because I think that'll pinches. be about that'll right. Work, yeah. And for the parsley, we're going to do two big pinches. One and two. Just and mix those up, right? And that's it. That's the whole dip. Mix um, it all together. Let it sit overnight because it'll taste better if you let everything kind of sit overnight. Now, you guys have a host of these things. What's the website? The website is northcountryeatsmartny.org, mm -hmm. and the recipe is actually there as well under the recipe tab for cauliflower for the month. So if you want to make it at home, the recipe is on the website. And it's still the time of year where you can get good cauliflower fresh, correct? Oh, definitely. Like I said, it's a, or like you said, actually, it's yeah. a winter crop. So planted late summer, fall and winter, good to go, cauliflower. Good to go. Thank you, my friend, for coming yes. in once again. Thank and you we'll so see much. you next month, all right? All right, perfect. More news coming up right after the break. Stay with us.